Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back. It's Connor here and we are continuing on with my little collections and my home fragrance stash uh, for summer of 2024. And today we are going to be going through my wax warmer collection. If you guys missed from yesterday, I did upload my wax melt collection where I went through all of my little wax melts that I have. But um, today we're gonna be talking about what I use to melt my wax melts, which is my warmers. So sitting here in front of you are some of my backup warmers. These are my fall and holiday warmers. Um, and then I actually have more warmers that I'm just currently using. So after we talk about these, I will actually take you guys on a little tour around the house and show you guys what warmers I have. And you will actually see them plugged in and um, you'll see kind of where I have them placed. So we'll do that secondly, but um, first we're just gonna talk about these ones right here in front of you. Um, before I do that though, I do just kind of wanna talk about wax warmers in general. I feel like this is kind of a topic that um, some people, I guess get afraid to talk about because I feel like there are a lot of people who really think that you should only use Scentsy warmers and I feel like that normally will come from Scentsy people that really just exclusively shop with Scentsy for their wax melts. I am definitely someone who loves Scentsy warmers. I think that they are beautiful. Um, they're obviously quite a splurge. They're going to be a lot more expensive than um, some other wax warmers that you can find. But I also know that they're good quality. They have a great... Um, I think that they're like 100% guaranteed satisfaction. So if any time, um, if your warmer breaks, you can get like a refund or a replacement, which is really awesome. Um, and I obviously just know that they are good at quality. They're not gonna like blow up or catch on fire or anything like that. Um, so they're very trustworthy. But I also do think that there are some other warmers out there that are really cute and are great and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so I really, um, you know, welcome all wax warmers. Um, I am now kind of mostly just a Scentsy warmer person. I obviously do have a couple of Yankee warmers as well that you'll see on the left. Um, I did originally have a couple of Walmart warmers and just like Target warmers, um, but I have gotten rid of those since because, because they were just more basic warmers. They were just like little white element warmers, which were great and they served their time then, but I feel like now I just kind of use these more decorative warmers from Scentsy and Yankee, but I'm definitely not opposed to Walmart warmers. If I saw a really cute one there, I would definitely consider picking it up. They actually have some really cute designs, you guys. If you've never checked them out, go into your Walmart, go into the wax warmer aisle. It is, they have some really great ones. They actually have a few Scentsy dupes as well, um, and they're just very affordable. So definitely check those out, but mostly what in my video is gonna be Scentsy warmers and then a couple of Binky ones as well. But um, I will link those websites down below if you're interested. You can find them there. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to do a little close-up view here. And we're going to talk about these Yankee ones first. Um, so Yankee, I feel like, has really stepped up their game with their wax warmers in the last couple of years. Um, they used to have more, like, basic warmers. But I feel like they're kind of now, um, I guess, trying a little bit harder with their warmers. And... Um, I've just really enjoyed some of their designs. So um, I have a Christmas one on the left. This is, I can't remember what this one's called. Sorry, I'm gonna walk into the frame here. Um, this one is called the Let It Snow Warmer right here. Um, this one was a new one, I believe last year. Um, I just thought that this was a beautiful design. I love the blue on this one. And if you um, have seen like in my weekly wax shots when I do my little home fragrance tours, um, our house like signature color is like this kind of like teal blue color. It's very like modern farmhouse um, style. And um, I just thought that this warmer would go really good with our home decor during the holidays. I also love how it glows in um, when it's light up. I love this little white top here. I just think it's a really pretty warmer. So I wanted to have this one for my collection. Um, let me see how much is this one. This one I believe is like 35. Does it say it on here? I want to say that this is either 35 or 45. So um, it's kind of expensive, but I mean, again, it's quality. I think it's worth it. It does have a timer. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can find that here. Um, to be honest, little unpopular opinion, I'm not the biggest fan of warmers that have timers on them just because I like to have my warmers going all day. So I don't want to have to like, you know, 
click on the timer multiple times per day to keep it going. I kind of like how Scentsy warmers just will stay going until you turn them off. Um, so I don't like hate that this one has a timer, but I will have to like click it multiple times. The highest setting is nine. So there's three hours, six hours, nine hours. I always just do the nine and then it'll kind of turn off like midday and I'll just click it on again. Um, but uh, I really like this warmer. It's very pretty and um, it's, I also love this part. So it obviously gets hot right here and then um, it has a really pretty glow to it. So this is my uh, first holiday warmer here, the Let It Snow Warmer. Um, next up, I have a fall one. This one I'll be pulling out in a couple weeks here. I usually start um, decorating for fall around like mid-August, late August, and normally it's done by Labor Day. Um, so I cannot wait to pull this one out. This is the uh, Yankee Candle, what is this one called? I think it's called the Dancing Leaves Warmer. Yes, so this is the Dancing Leaves Warmer from Yankee. Um, very similar look to the Let It Snow one. It just uh, obviously is more leaves and fall themed. Um, same kind of warmers, this one where it's got the timer, it's got um, all of these super cool things that come with it. Um, I love this little part here that comes up. It's kind of stuck on because my mom actually knocked this one over last fall and I forgot to clean it up. And so the wax is like making this thing stick. There we go. Um, but it comes with this super cool lid here. I still have wax in it actually. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I love the look of this one. It's super pretty and when it lights up, it's gorgeous. I will say just a little disclaimer. These ones are not super bright. Um, I actually think that my Scentsy Warmers are brighter. So if you're looking for more of like a glow or something that's gonna light up your room, these aren't gonna be super bright, but they're definitely very pretty and just more of like a little light in the background. But um, those are my two Yankee Warmers right here. All right, now let's look at my Scentsy Warmers. So I've got my first one. This is called the Fall Fairy Tale Warmer. Here's the box, by the way, if you're interested. Um, I got this one last fall and it just is so beautiful. It has this mercury finish to it, which just gives this stunning glow. I love how it looks when it's lit up. It's got a little pumpkin like topper here. Obviously we have the little uh, wax dish here, the glass dish. Um, and this one's just really pretty. I love the look of this one and it just works really well with my fall decor. And then lastly, we have the All Aglow Medium White Warmer. This is my kind of like favorite holiday warmer probably that I have. It is this beautiful Christmas tree. Um, so the top comes off right here and then we have our wax dish. Um, this one has a little bit smaller of a wax, wax dish than the other one does. It's a little bit smaller of a hole. I'll kind of show you guys. It's smaller. Also, the light bulb that is in this one is smaller as well, so it doesn't fully melt like my harder waxes, like Better Homes and Gardens and stuff like that. Um, I think it's a lower wattage than like this one is over here, the fall one. But um, it's still beautiful. There's actually a whole collection of these, but it has been discontinued, so I don't know if you can get that anymore. But since he also um, comes out with new warmers all the time. So I'm sure that they'll have something great, but I just love this one. It's a beautiful tree. It lights up and is so pretty and kind of goes with our look, like rustic look. I love how it kind of looks a little bit like aged, I guess. It's like a very classic Christmas tree look with the star on top. It's just gorgeous. I love this one. So these are my kind of like backup fall and holiday warmers. I definitely look forward to adding to this collection. I love, um, having a bunch of warmers around my house for both the fragrance, but also the decor. I use these to decorate and they're just so, so pretty. So yeah, these are my backup warmers and now we're gonna go ahead and take a tour out in the home and I'm going to show you guys which warmers I am currently using and they're actually warmers that I use all year round. So these are not ones that I replace seasonally. These ones just stay out all year round and they kind of go with our home decor. So let's go ahead and check those out. So the first warmer out here in the house in the entryway on our buffet table is going to be the Scentsy Chard Warmer. Here is the box right here if you want a little look at that one. Um, I got this one um, as a gift actually last holiday season and it's just such a pretty warmer. This one has this beautiful kind of glittery mosaic glow to it. Um, at the top, it kind of starts off a little bit lighter, but then when you get towards the bottom, it almost has this like blue finish to it. 
This one is so pretty and it's just one that really fits in well with our home. It's one that I keep out all year round. It really works with all of the seasons. I think that this is a beautiful one during the holidays, especially it just kind of fits in really well with the decor. And I love that like kind of silver glittery finish to it, um, but it really does work all year round. Um, this one I believe uses a 25 watt light bulb. So if you're wondering, that's the one that this one has. Um, it's obviously got the little dish on top as well. It's a little bit hot, so I'm not gonna touch it. Um, but yeah, this one is really, really pretty and definitely one of my favorite warmers that I have out. So this is the first one here in our entryway. All right, the next warmer I have here is in the living room and this is Scentsy's Mirrored Rosé Warmer. Fun fact, this was actually the first Scentsy warmer that I ever owned and it's still one that I love to this day. It is this really pretty rose colored warmer. It's got a uh, kind of like light pink look to it. Um, but it's just this beautiful like rose color um kind of more like a rose gold i guess um this one also has a little bit of a mercury finish to it which just gives it this beautiful kind of classic look to it it almost looks a little bit um like old-fashioned i guess but um it just works really well in here i have it sitting next to this pink sands candle as well and actually i'm melting pink sands in there right now as well so that perked up that worked out perfectly but um, I love this warmer. It is so pretty. Again, I think that this one takes a 25 watt bulb, but it is just stunning. I love the look of this one and I still love it to this day. So that is the next warmer. All right, and then the last warmer in the kitchen is the Scentsy Opulence Warmer right here. Sorry, I'm zoomed in, so I'll zoom out a little bit. Um, unfortunately, this one actually does not um, have a light bulb in it. The light bulb actually went out which has actually not happened to me yet. So I was kind of surprised, I guess. Um, yeah, the light bulbs do run out. So I need to order some more because I cannot find the box of light bulbs that I had for my warmers um, that I had in the older house. Maybe I lost it in the move. I'm not really sure, but um, I need to order some new ones. But in the meantime, I just have it out for the decor. But um, this one is also really pretty. When it lights up, it kind of has this very like purple color to it um, and it also does have a little bit of that mercury look that the mirrored rosé one does it's honestly quite similar to the mirrored rosé but I love the shape of this one I love the texture it has these like little leaves to it and this one is really pretty um, it's another one that I like all year round but I think it honestly works really well in the fall because it does almost look a little bit like a fall warmer with those leaves but um, I just have it sitting up here in this little windowsill in our kitchen and it just is so pretty when it lights up. So yeah guys, that is my little warmer tour and that concludes the video. Um, let me know if you guys have any wax warmers in your collection. Let me know your like top favorites in your collection. Um, which wax warmer companies do you shop from? I would love to hear it down below in the comments. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.